So to start things off, I just want to give a big thank you to EA for sponsoring and providing our first eight theme teams on a side account for our theme team series. For those of you who don't know, last year we did a theme team series where we used all 32 NFL teams and then proceeded to rank them based on how they played. And I'm excited to do it again this year. I hope you all are too. And for today's video, we're gonna be using the Buffalo Bills, which I'm very excited about. I think it's gonna be a really fun team. But before we get over to that, we have to talk about our corny joke of the day, which is right here. I'm gonna read it to you out loud. And it's, it's a good one. What do you call an egg on sand? San Diego. You get it because Sand, sand, Diego, egg. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be doing the Buffalo Bills theme team today. And I'm super excited about it. I know. I already said that. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm super excited about it now before we get over to the bills i want to update you on the rankings we did put the chiefs at number three they were awesome on both sides of the ball offense and defense they made a lot of plays the reason why they're not up there in that two or one spot is because neither of their top overall quarterbacks could get hot route master and gunslinger at least for me those are two abilities i really like to have on my quarterback and neither of them could get both at the same time so that's why we put them at number three they were great they were really really good but that's why we have them on the rankings but enough about the Chiefs. Today's video is about the Bills. Let's take a look at the lineup. So this Bills lineup is actually very solid across the board. We have Josh Allen as our QB. Devin Singletary as our running back. We have great wide receivers. We're able to get every single ability that we would want on both sides of the ball outside of Hot Round Masters. The only one that we're missing. So pretty much everything that you would want with a the theme team outside of that. Again, we have Gunslinger on Josh Allen. Stefan Diggs has Slot Apprentice and Playmaker. Devin Singletary has Backfield Master. And Logan Thomas has Matchup Nightmare and Tight End Apprentice. And then John Brown just has Double Me. We're not going to change our abilities on offense from the next gen to the current gen because of that uh, no hot route master. We're pretty much going to keep the same things on both uh, on the offensive side of the ball. As far as defense goes, again, very, very, very solid. I love this defense. Maybe one of the better defenses in all the theme teams that you could have. I would say, at least from what I've seen, it probably maybe top five. I'm just guessing. I'm just kind of making up a number top five top three whatever the case may be they're, they're very good let's just keep it that way they're very very good and uh, as far as abilities go mid zone ko's and acrobats pretty much everywhere that we can get them now they will change a little bit when we go to current gen i'll try to show you where we updated once we get into the game we won't be using inside stuffs on current gen so that's where it changes so we have marcus stroud with that inside stuff and then we have kyle williams with inside stuff those will change to acrobats and mid zone ko's but for the rest of it that's what we're using i feel like it's the best way to play defense right now Without the one step ahead, so you can only have two max now because of the AP change. You can't have three or four. I feel like that's the best way to play defense, to play zone, to have acrobats, to have uh, mid zone KOs out there. And then if you're on next gen inside stuff, so I feel like it's really, really good to help you stop the run. So that's really it for the team. As far as team strategy goes, we're still in the Raiders offense. We're going to be in the 4-6 defense. That is it for the team. Let's jump into the game. All right, here we go with game one. This one's going to be on next gen. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go, Reggie Bush. The opening kickoff. Let's go, Reggie Bush. I can't even remember the last time I took an opening kickoff back for a touchdown. Wow, that's the way you want to start a game, right? That is the way that you want. Oh, I thought we were about to give a kickoff return ourselves. That's the way you want to start a game. In our zone, in our zone, Poyer. I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm, I can't say, oh, Poyer, let's make a play on that. I'm not even close. Working middle here. Oh, I was going to bounce back middle. Oh, Johnson. Can we get one block? Oh, Johnson. Johnson, let's go. I, I said, can we get a block? I, was, I, I didn't know what I was doing. You know, you all know when I'm just out there, I, just trying to make a play after an interception and kick over turn, trying to get sticky, anything like that. It doesn't typically go well, but we got the interception and we'll take it. Sometimes I really just don't even know what I'm trying to say. And I just, I end up just kind of winging it after a little while. Oh, I thought we had Stefan Diggs. I thought we had Stefan. I'm looking to go back to that streak here. I'm looking to go right back to that streak. If they stay in that cover too, they did. Stefan with the pass lead, Stefan Diggs down this seam. 
Remember. We're just looking to see here if this Buffalo Bills elite level defense, this elite level theme team Buffalo Bills defense can make another play right here. We're watching with Poyer. Poyer makes the play. Poyer. Uh, this Buffalo Bills defense is very, very good. Could have this post going down the middle of the field. We could. We don't. We're getting sacked instead. I feel like whenever I say we might have something, we usually don't. So I just probably should stop saying it. Great throw from Josh Allen while getting tackled. This looks like it could be man coverage right here. It is. Get the corner right outside. Nice job, Logan Thomas. Looking for Logan Thomas again here. Not this time. But down the middle of the field, Robert Woods. Robert Woods is going to get into the end zone. The Buffalo Bills theme team is making a run at number one. You know, making a run at number one might be the new... Oh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Making a run at number one might be the new catchphrase for this series, right? Because every team is trying to make a run at that number one spot. Watch it for this pitch to the right right here. It's not going to happen. I haven't been right all day, I feel like. I haven't made a right call all day. Nice read. I was trying to bounce back to that, but... We had, we had no chance of getting to that. I know I already talked about the previous episode for this theme team series, but I wanted to remind you all that every single theme team episode is actually in the same playlist. So that same top right-hand corner, again, one of these two, not sure which, is going to have that entire playlist as well. So if you want to catch up on any episodes you may have missed, maybe your team's already had an episode and you haven't seen it yet, you can check that out. But the entire, the entire theme team series, as we go along, until we get through all 32, they're going to stay in the same playlist. And that way you can always stay up to date on everything that is theme team. Now let's continue back with this game here. Trying to get a stop. And we're going to make a play. Who, Win, Winfield. I couldn't catch it. I couldn't catch it. Antoine Winfield making a play. That's my bad right there. Just went a little bit blank for a second. Just went a little bit blank on the name right there. But Antoine Winfield. We got our, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. We, we definitely, definitely did not make a quick enough read. It's always scary being at your own one yard line, right? I feel like usually good things aren't gonna it's gonna be hard to go on a 99 yard drive and then you end up with a safety sometimes you end up just punting the ball right back to get great field position usually something something not great is gonna happen i have to try to get another stop right here but this buffalo bills defense has been awesome they've made a ton of plays they've, that's another knockout right there this buffalo bills they, they've been everywhere every player's just making a play they're getting swats they're getting interceptions they're making tackles a couple crossing routes and another made play, another made play by the Bills defense. Watching this deep middle of the field here. Another shed. This Buffalo Bills defense is just balling right now. Watching deep middle again here with Poyer. And another knockout. I'm telling you, I, I don't want to continue just to say the same thing. I don't want to continue to say it. But this Buffalo Bills defense has been awesome. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. All right, here we go with game two. This is gonna be the last one on next gen. Then we're gonna move over to current gen. Here we go. They're coming out of this 146 here. We're going slant or post. We have the slant. We have the slant. Let's go, Stefan. Let's go, Stefan Diggs. We're looking for our seam streak here. I think it could be there. I think it could not because we got sacked. There I go again saying something could be there and it not being there. I gotta stop saying that. I have to. I have to. Otherwise, maybe, I mean, look, we don't say the drags are the drags there. If I keep saying that, you know, I'm gonna keep saying it though, because one of these times it will be there. At least I hope it'll be right. I hope we can get some routes open at some point. Got the slant right here though. We got the slant, Stefan Diggs again. Got a little high, low concept here. We're looking post. Oh, Josh Allen, thank you for getting that pass off. That was so close. We were under heavy pressure. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was looking for the seam streak and it wasn't there. And after that, I had nothing. Looking seam streak again here. Oh, got nothing. We we are just, you know what? If we don't have our first read, for the majority of this game, I feel like they've just been coming right through. That one was my fault, though. I double teamed. We have Diggs. Stefan. Stefan. I double teamed in the last play. That allowed them to get a player free. This time we don't double team. This time we get Stefan Diggs. They're actually coming out on the Wildcat right here. This is definitely giving me trouble in the past. I've definitely given them some long runs to the wildcat before so we have to try to contain it in this one watch it for this handoff to the right this time nope they're keeping it they're keeping it with herschel walker there was some space there we have a big play early on in this one we have a fourth down a chance to get off the field and they, they're gonna have a doubt i think that corner route looks like it could be open the playmaker looks like it could be open malloy lawyer malloy i thought that was open great play this looks like man coverage right here the corner is following stefan Diggs, and there was no corner on the outside it is it's not, that's not open, that's not open, that's not open, that's not open. That is not open, Kent. This looks like man coverage again. We're looking for this post. It is man coverage. 
and nothing's open i'm telling you if we haven't made the first read in this game i think we've been sacked like 90 percent of the time looking for a quick throw to the table route we're gonna have it let's go baby oh i thought i thought we had it i actually thought that we made them miss you know what hmm i think we can pick this up i want to come out of the play here i want to see what i want to see what they call if they call that cover zero again i think that we can pick this up if they don't call the cover zero they didn't hmm I was going to say we probably, you know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it anyways. I think that we have a play that could work. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to double team here, and we're going to try to get a chop block. Hopefully, the running back gets a chop block, and hopefully, we get this corner out outside. We didn't get the chop block. They're going to shed. We have nothing open anyways. It doesn't matter. Great defense. Ooh, it's a PA. It's a PA. I thought it was going to be a run, and there's a block shed from our team this time. Oh, I thought they were throwing to us. I thought they were throwing to us. I don't know why I always think... Okay, they just duked us like five times. We're playing hard flats this time. We Okay, they ran the ball. We did not want to give up another one. Herschel Walker with the truck. We don't want to give up any more drags. Watching for anything over the middle. Oh, what a play, Micah Hyde. Here we go, baby. One block, Micah Hyde. Two blocks, actually. Oh, I thought we had the stop and go again. We should have the slant or the table route right here, depending on what they use or we have the table route. Let's go, let's go Singletary. Get to the sidelines. We only have one time out here because I used two making subs and doing audibles early in the half here. Okay, they're out of the cover zero. That's good for us because, honestly, it's hard to move the ball quick, it feels like, against this cover zero because the pressure's coming in. And we have to wait for the uh, routes to develop. So we're taking what's available. We have to take what's available. Singletary, Singletary. I like to pass lead up on that table. I need to do that next time they go to the cover zero. I'm hoping this seam streak's there. I'm hoping this seam streak is there. It's not. No. Okay. Thank you for getting pressure on the QB because that could have been an interception. This quick pressure is really giving us trouble. We need to get some time in the pocket. Oh, we were going to have the post down the middle. We got to take our time out. We were going to have that post down the middle of the field. If we get the time in the pocket here, we should have this S post going down the middle against the cover two. We should. We don't. We'll take the slant. We'll just take the slant. That made it a little bit more manageable here. Clock's running. We're going to let this run down here. And we're just going to go for it because there's not going to be a lot of time for them to get any points. And if we do happen to pick it up and get out of bounds, we can maybe get a field goal. We're just going to hike it here. We're just going to hike it. Oh, we have Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs. Oh, we almost had it. It's all on my, that is all on me. I backed up too far in the pocket. I didn't think it was going to be there. We had a chance there before half to maybe, oh, Malloy, oh, to maybe get, to this, get this to a two possession game, maybe getting a field goal, maybe getting a touchdown. We weren't able to do it. We have to try to get a stop out of halftime now. I need to watch anything deep middle, in route, skinny posts, watching this crosser. Winfield. Oh, wow. What a catch. We're going to shoot the gap on the run. It's a pass. It's a screen. The screen. I'm never ready for screens. I'm never ready for screens. That's a great play call. We got to get something going on this drive. My plan is to take this table out as many times as it's left open. So we're going to take this table out. Every time it's there, I feel like we have to take it because it's been there the majority of the game. But on second thought here, we're going deep for this streak. We're looking for this streak downfield. Digs, digs, digs. Stefan, we'll take it. This looks like man coverage. So the user's going to have to stay on the table route. And we should have the slant at that point. Nope, they manned up the... They're, they're, oh, that was really smart by them. That was really smart. They manned up the table route, and then they user the slant. But you know what? If we put that... If we put B on a streak, we might get it over the top. We're looking for B or the corner route. A user... Yes, great job, Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas makes a big-time play right there. This looks like man coverage again. We're looking for the table route. A user... Low ball. No, that was not going to be open anyways. That was not going to be open whatsoever that could have been an interception we're on a third and goal along again last time i think we had a third and goal from like the 20 now we're at the 16 we might have been able to throw that table out we might have had time to throw that i thought it was man coverage but it looked like it was more of like a maybe like a match zone or just a regular even zone it didn't look like man coverage at all i was completely wrong on that table route oh singletary hmm 256 left 256 left yeah, well, you know what? We're going to take the field goal. We're going to take the field goal. We're going to have to play some defense, though. We cannot give up a seven here. If we give up a touchdown, we're probably going to lose this game. We're going to have to tackle, and we're going to have to keep everything in front. Maybe slightly flip that around. We need to keep everything in front, and then we need to tackle. And our spy. Yes! Micah Hyde! Here we go, baby! No! But we'll take it! So with space here to really only get one first down, this will be a tough clock out. We do want to take as much clock as we can. Ideally, we'll take the whole clock if we possibly can. 
but it will be tough. We'd have to do it perfectly here, going all three downs, getting to a third down, and then picking up the first while taking all their timeouts. We also have the two-minute warning. So this will be a tough clock out, but we're going to try. Looking for any cutback lanes. It's there to the right. Singletary. 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 Ooh, I thought we were going to score. I was going to try to take the touchdown if we could get it there because... Now that we got the first down, like I was saying, it's really tough clock out. If we ran the ball all three times here, they have a timeout and a two-minute warning. We can really only get it down to about a minute 30 minus how long the plays take. So we will take the touchdown. Now we just have to keep everything in front on defense. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game three. All right, here we go with game three. This one's going to be the last one of the video, and it's going to be on current gen. Ooh, can this be against the Steelers theme team? Here we go. I feel like it's always pretty cool when we're in the theme team series and we go up against another theme team. Right now, their theme teams, even I'm not even sure if this is a theme team that I'm going against, but if it is, they don't uh, follow the same exact rules most likely that uh, that we do with the series where you have to have had played for the team or been on the roster for that team at some point. But still, regardless, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, enough about the theme teams, right? Enough about theme team versus theme team. Let's get back to the game. Looking for quick reads, quick reads, quick reads, quick reads. I'm loving this drag right now. I'm loving this drag from John Brown. I actually just realized, though, that's supposed to be Stefan Diggs at the B spot because of Playmaker and Slot Apprentice. Nice catch, Stefan Diggs and Slot Apprentice. So we had to we had to switch around. John Brown's now on the outside. This could be a touchdown to Stefan Diggs. This could be a touchdown to Stefan Diggs. It's not. It's not at all. It's not at all. Let's run. Let's run. Try to make a play. We're trying to make a play. We're trying to make a play. And... I couldn't find anything. Looking for halfback right here. Or more. Or more. Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs. Oh, that was close. One more time here. We're looking slant or post. We're looking for slant or post. We're going post. Logan Thomas with a big time catch. Great start for this Bills theme team. We didn't get our substitutions in. We didn't get our substitutions in. And we're out of timeout. So we're going to be the wrong play for this one at least. Hopefully they don't go no huddle. I'm hoping they don't go no huddle here. All right, we got our right play call now. We are all good with the subs. Oh, the screen, the screens. I'm never ready for the screens. Nice play. Working here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, what a dot. What a dot. I didn't see, I didn't see it. I was lurking low. Watching for the pitch outside. We're watching for the pitch outside. It's not, it's not. I haven't been right all day. I haven't been right all day. Another dot, another laser. Looking to shoot the gap on this inside zone. It's not, I'm not. I'm saying everything that I'm looking to do, looking for, looking out, what, whatever I'm saying, I'm doing wrong. It, it, it hasn't gone right yet. It hasn't gone right yet. We're going to try it one more time. We're looking to shoot the gap on any run place. It's a sweep. Oh, we were actually back there. We were actually back there when we weren't quick enough. But that was a great drive from them. Just completely, the whole time, they're one step ahead. But we're going to have to try to answer back right here. But I did want to show you our abilities. They did not change from the first game on uh the first two games on next gen we're staying the same on offense i do want to show you on defense they're slightly changed let's go let's go singletary Ooh, they are slightly changed on defense but we'll show that one next defensive possession because i completely forgot on the first one we were too busy getting dotted to show you the abilities right so i'll try to get them on the next possession we'll see how this possession goes on offense first we do have omaha activated though so hopefully we don't make any mistakes and then end up losing that omaha oh i that was not a great cut by me. That's not what I was trying to do. But a lot of the time, when I end up getting Omaha, we end up just throwing an interception anyway. So I'm going to try my best not to do that. It's going to be a cover one right here. So we're looking for our slant playmaker back or the S post. thought i'm thinking the whole time that thing's hanging in the air we got hit as we threw i'm thinking okay all right this is definitely going to be a pick or at least an incompletion we might lose our omaha and stefan no actually check that john brown makes the play working with poyer we're getting dotted we're getting dotted again on this drive they are literally just on top of everything right now by the way i do think this is a hundred percent a Steelers theme team just based on the players that i've seen out there just guessing but I really do think that it's what it is. Now, I just I showed you the abilities as long as I could there. Screen, screen. The only things that the only things we changed were we took off the inside stuffs and we added mid-zone KOs to uh, the two corners that are playing safety, uh, Stefan Gilmore and uh, I believe Johnson. So, yeah, so Johnson and Gilmore both have mid-zone KO now and we don't have any more inside stuffs. That's the only changes we made. So, just try to I don't have time to show you all the abilities that we have just because we've literally gotten dotted 
both drives so far. So we have to just focus on playing some defense. Larkin with Poyer. Poyer! Oh! That was super close. If we had Agrabat, we'd probably get there. We got to send some pressure right here. We got to send a little bit of pressure. We didn't get home. Laser. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, I was, oh here? Oh, there? Oh, die. Not really the end of the half that we were looking for, but if we can get a stop at a halftime, we're still in a really good spot. We have to lock up right here. Send a little bit of pressure right here. Try to force a mistake. I tried to get back to that. I tried. We haven't forced a single mistake yet. We haven't forced a single mistake yet. They are 10 for 10. We haven't even forced an incompletion, let alone a mistake. Bounce it back with Poyer. Oh, I thought they were throwing it to me. I thought that they were throwing it to me. We have to figure out some defense right here. We are absolutely getting dotted. We're sending pressure again. I still want to try to force this mistake in the seam streak. We're gonna have to man that up. We're gonna have to man up the seam streak because that's gotten us twice now. Third or first and goal from the one. We somehow have to try to hold them to three right here. We're gonna try to shoot the gap on the run. We're gonna run commit. We're gonna try to shoot the gap on this run play. Hopefully we can get back there. Hopefully, I think it's gonna be, if I had to guess, it's gonna be fullback dive. And it is, and they're in. All right, not the start that we were looking for for this half. We're in, we're in a tough spot. If we don't go get seven right here, we're gonna be in a tough spot. We also lost our Omaha, but that is okay. That is okay. I think we'll do okay with Stefan Diggs. Oh, I tried to get a little sticky right there. It didn't happen. We need this crossing route right here. We need this crossing route. We're gonna have it. Stefan, Stefan Diggs, Stefan Diggs, Stefan Diggs, and we're not gonna get to the pylon, but we are inside the five. We double team the inside stuff at deep T. We have to try to get in, and their user was perfect. Trying a different inside zone right here with a little bit of motion. Different inside zone, a little bit of motion. A lot of gap shoot. I'm hoping they don't blitz right here. If they don't blitz, we should have our running back option route. They did blitz. We don't have the running back option route. We're gonna have to settle for three. We have almost no chance of converting this. We're gonna take our field goal right here. Yeah, I feel like it's the right play. 19 yards out. I don't think we can get it. We'll take our field goal and we have to try to get a stop. We're sending some pressure. We're sending some pressure. It's a run. We gotta have to contain the run. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're sending the pressure again. We are sending the pressure again. We're gonna keep doing it until we can maybe force a mistake. I can't force them to make a mistake. They are literally all over everything dotting right now. No pressure this time. No pressure this time. Great block shed, fourth down, biggest play of the game right here. And it looks like they're actually, no, they're doing a fake. They're doing a fake. We weren't ready. I was going to say they're going to punt the ball away. And they don't. We were in safe. But safe's for the pass. It's not for the run. What a call. I'll tell you what, that run looked really, really good. Next time I'm in a fake punt situation, I might actually have to go to that because that looked really good. I need to make sure I make that tackle in the back there, though. We missed our gap shoot. And uh, yeah, so... I'm gonna start calling timeouts after that play, but we have to figure out a way to at least hold them to three right here. Cause that was the best fake pun call ever. That thing was so good. Great tackle, Jordan Poyer. We have a third down and long. Biggest play of the game. Oh no, I got stuck. I got stuck in the block. Oh, no, no, no. We, uh, we probably should have played hard flats over there. We played cloud flats. Since they went out of bounds, we're technically still in the game with our two timeouts, but it's gonna be really really tough now we got the two stops that we needed it's likely to be another run we it is it is oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no that's how it, that's game now that is game oh no oh we were back there oh wow and that's the way i, I would have loved i would have loved the chance on offense there to try to try to tie the game up even if it was only like 35 40 seconds i would have loved this shot at it we didn't get it and uh, that's how this game is going to end not a single incompletion from our opponent in that game great game to our opponent great game to all of our opponents in the video i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to enter the corny jokes if you want to be entered into the next comment for the next video and don't forget to like comment subscribe only if you want to only if you enjoy the video that is i love you all take it easy peace I mean, what can I say? I got absolutely dotted. I'll see you all in the next one.